What if I told you that you were code rating wrong? The standard way and most common way is to enter the 10,000 most common codes. Now, this method is effective, don't get me wrong. But the one that I used in this video is a lot more effective. 50% of the most common four digit codes are in the first 1,000. So in theory, if you were to rotate through bases, only entering codes within the first 1,000, you should, in theory, have a 50% chance of getting the code. Now this method sounds great, but does it actually work? Uh, yes, y yes it does. Now here's how our strategy is gonna go. For this video, I'll be playing duo. What we're gonna do is split off onto separate islands, and from there, we'll select a few bases to do our strategy on. Now, to be honest, I was quite skeptical if my method would be effective, but very soon, I would be proven wrong. Koala and I's meeting spot was here. He'd be my duo partner on this code rating conquest we were about to embark on. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Uh, Derek. Uh. <laughs> so our plan today, Mr. Koala, is pretty simple. Like I previously mentioned, we're only going to enter the first 1,000 codes on the 10,000 code list. And after that, we rotate to another base and another base and another base, and we just rinse and repeat this method until we get a base. Does that, uh... Does it sound good? Sounds good. By the way, guys, I think it's important to mention that I just launched the Monday servers, so if you guys want to come play, go... Uh Complain. The first step in any good code rating video is to acquire cloth. Now, the optimal setup is eight bags around a base with more than two doors. Having two doors to enter on allows you to not get timered and automatically locked out when you start entering code. So, if there was a base to target, one with two doors would be ideal. Alright, I should have more than enough cloth to craft eight bags. Nice. All that's left to worry about is, uh... What? What base do I code rate? That was gonna be the tricky part. Now, I looked over dozens of bases. Some were too big, some were too small, and some had turrets outside of them. I was starting to grow impatient and started getting ready to move to the next island. But in a turn of fate, I had quite an interesting encounter. Hello? 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 What's up? What's your name? My name is Bepchniff. Well, I was in the area and I was looking for any like big bases. Any any people that you don't like? Yes, yes, the sofa quarry. They just the built that core. tower just to roof camp. Ah, okay. Yeah. I'll uh I'll see what I can do. I'm gonna go check them out. But uh, wait, what's uh what's your name? Uh, uh, my name is Stab. Dan. Stab. Who is it? Stab. Oh, yeah. Okay, stab, stab. Gotcha. The next time you see me, I'll uh, I'll be inside their base, okay. probably. So, <laughs> see you later. In a turn of events, I had acquired a new code rating target. Plus, they own Sulfur Quarry, which is one of the most overpowered ways to get sulfur in the game. If I were able to crack it, this base would be loaded. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Welcome to War Thunder. War Thunder is one of the most exciting vehicle combat games ever made. Play as more than 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships in a dynamic and exciting PvP landscape. The collection of vehicles in War Thunder span from over a hundred years of development from the 1920s to present day. Each vehicle is incredibly detailed and modeled down to their individual components, offering a unique gaming experience in a highly immersive combat environment. One of my personal favorite tanks is the M3 Bradley, because just like in Rust, it can cause absolute destruction. The M3 Bradley's range is impeccable and can compete with any competition that will try to oppose you. If you're looking for a fast, action-packed, or more realistic and tactical experience, War Thunder offers intense PvP battles at immersion levels for all playstyles. Whatever experience you prefer, you will find it here. You can play War Thunder in an incredible 4K resolution, paired with authentic sound effects and beautiful music, creating an atmosphere to fully immerse yourself in. Play for free now on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PS5, or the previous generations. When registering on PC, you Use my link to earn a free large bonus pack. This includes multiple premium vehicles, boosters, and much more. Thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. All right, let's get these bags placed down, son. And here we go. Now, I was entering codes on this base for a better part of an hour with no luck. But the good thing about this strategy is that Koala was also entering codes. Little did we know, he was about to crack it. What? 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 <laughs> I got it! I got one! I got one! 
Bro, bro I was just chilling. What's, what's the what's the code? What's the code? 2002. I just I went to the birthdays. The number 36 code on the list was the base's code. They literally use their birthday as their code. And I can't stress this enough, guys. Do not use your birthdays as your Rust codes, bro. Like it, this base looks fucking promising too. Which one is it? This uh, is it the one this on the green right? Green one here. They're trying to blend in. They're trying to be all camo and sh codes 2002. <laughs> his birthday. His birthday as his code. <laughs> oh, oh, check the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 all right, all right. Wait, 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 wait. Go back up, back up. Yeah, yeah. Might be shocking, Joe. Oh, bro, I actually get what? I don't even know. This leads like leads up. Yeah, look, no, no. no okay, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh. Okay, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Guns bro, and What is this man. base, bro? Terp haze. Oh, look, oh, 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 look, 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 TC, Run. let's go, baby. No shot. I'm clearing, I'm clearing. What's it looking like? Oh. Oh, oh damn. Dude. Okay, guys, don't set your code to your fucking birthday. <laughs> this is this is a lesson. The base wasn't super loaded, but it was a good start. But little did we know, this would be somewhat of a starter base, cause things were going to get pretty crazy. All right, what what? I'm about to uh, get back on the grindstone. Let's go. Someone's satchel writing right next to me. Oh, two satchels. Yeah, they're raiding. Koala was code raiding a base near a raid. Also, I needed to gain access to more doors in the sulfur quarry base to speed things up a bit. So, if we were able to successfully counter, we can use the boom to blow the wall. I see, I see the belt. I see him, I see him, I see him. Uh, 160, wait, wait, 160. Wait, wait, wait. Bro, how did all those miss? Oh, oh, dude, I have no meds. I'm screwed. He's standing still. Kill one. Ah, oh, shit. Got him! He's dead! Woo! Nice, 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 nice! Oh! Look at that! Oh, oh no boom. Like I hope, but... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll take that. We'll take that. Unfortunately, there was no boom. But... That's okay, because I still had access to the Sulphur Quarry's gate and outside base. This just meant I wouldn't be able to code raid at max efficiency. But I'd soon find that efficiency wouldn't matter. Oh! Koala! Koala! Yeah? <laughs> Did you get one? <laughs> Can you guess? Can you guess what just happened? Let me take a- let Can me take you take a, a guess, man? You just get a base! <laughs> bang me, bang me, bang me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, shut up. Oh, Bro, it's been so fucking long. <laughs> The code was 3113, the 614th code on the list. If I hadn't interacted with a random, then none of this would have ever happened. God. Oh my god. It is 3113, it's the 614th code. Oh my god. Koala? Yeah? Koala? Yeah? This is gonna be juice, baby. Is it a juice or a gooser? It's a, it's a little bit of a juice or a gooser. Oh my god. I wanna uh, go see! <gasps> Dude, I have their power, I have their power, I have their power. Alright, uh, I think some, I think some of their turrets are off. Thank you for your sacrifice! Oh, I made it! Bro, the store isn't even, uh, it's not even locked. Is this their main base, you think? There's no way. Or is their main it base? It doesn't feel like they There were just beds here. I feel like this is just their sulfur quarry base. We should try that code on some other bases. Yeah, clothes. yeah, I'd be down. We, yeah, yeah. Sulfur quarry was not the main base. And as a result, we got lackluster loot. But what we did have was the base's code. All we had to do now was find their main base. Stop. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello. Unfortunately, Stab wasn't online to tell us their names or give us any info. So, we had to resort to going out and finding it on our own. Oh, sh- Oh, right, right yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see what. I don't know if there's a- uh, I don't know if there's two.
Where are they running from? Are they? From, uh, from the roof. Double one, he's dead. I think, uh, he, I think he's solo. This was an unfortunate situation. Not for us, but for this guy. To get snuck up on in a random raid, and on top of that, be solo, is probably one of the most frustrating Rust experiences you can have. You'd think that'd make him hateful and bitter. But, actually, it was quite the opposite. I've heard somebody. I just heard somebody. I killed him. Yo, was it loaded? Was it loaded? Yes or no? Yep. I just want to know. Was there rockets or something? Just a sulfur? Just guns. Oh. No, like no sulfur either, bro. Wait, yeah. see if we can get the info on where the guy lives at sulfur. There's nothing in that sulfur box? I swear, yeah, I swear no, it was bro. loaded. No, we should... there's there's nothing, bro. It's fucking... Hold up, can you tell us something? Do you know, um... Yeah. Take that, bro. Take that. I, I don't need um, it. I'm getting off. Do you know who owns the sulfur quarry? Yes. Do you know where they live? Yes. Is it you? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. It's, Can you tell uh, us where they live? L1. Oh. L1? Oh, shit. Oh. Bro, it's, that is it's so the, far. What, are you guys gonna raid him? Yeah, I think uh, I think that's the plan. Alright, alright. Well, I can give you some loot if you guys come with me. I can give you uh, the base I raided. This random stranger gave us all the info we needed. All we needed to do was investigate. Oh. Oh, I see it. Is that that? Is that it right there? I think so. Oh, what? that's L2 though. Wait, he's on his roof. Mm, never mind, it was a body bag. No, he's in the window. Okay, let's get in the water here. Let's get in the water here. I don't want to get too close to that base. We'll just swim out. The L1 base was an ocean bunker, so getting to it was not going to be easy. Plus, they were also online. Do we have any weapons to like fight them underwater? No, nah, no, nah, nah. we're chilling. We're chilling. I don't. I don't know. We should be fine. We should be fine. Yo, what the Bro, fuck is this? Bro, this is insane! <laughs> oh, he's in there, he's in there. Bruh, we can't- we can't try the code, because he's online. Can't let him know. I say that we try and timer him. We have to. If like, if we want to try out the code, we have to timer him. Is that the entrance down there? Yeah, yeah. This is- oh! I don't know. Let's send it, bro, let's send it. There's nobody down here, it's clear. You can come down, it's clear. clear. <laughs> this is wild! <laughs> Dude, we cannot, we cannot enter the coast. We cannot, we, we cannot let them know. We, I really, I know we want to try it, but we cannot. We were in a tight spot. We couldn't test the code since they were online, so we were basically stuck. Well, that was until I came up with a solution. If I grab, if I go and grab Boom, then we can bait him out and timer him. I don't think he'll come out. If we start raiding, he has to come out. And then we can timer him, and then we can enter codes, and then we win. Jeez. So, I went back, grabbed what Boom we had left, and made my way back to the base in L1. But unfortunately, I was ambushed. Yeah, he's above me. He's above tunnel. Bro, I, had, I got double bro, there's another behind me. <gasps> no! Right now, L1 was very active and aware. So trying to mess or code raid them right now was a death sentence. So after things cooled off a bit, I went back to investigate. Yeah, stuff is it's chilled out a lot. I'm, I'm gonna see if we'll, any of them are in this base right now. I don't think so. So we're gonna send it. <gasps> it works! It works! It works! It works! I'm running There's back. There's no shot. It, it works! 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 <laughs> There's no shot. It works. They're not. They weren't in that base. And I enter it. It, it, it works. It works. It's definitely their code. It's definitely their code. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh so my... we know this is gonna work now. <laughs> so oh my god. There's no shot. Dude. Now that we knew that it was their code, we decided to do a hybrid type of raid. To go through walls and enter in codes. All right. This should be enough rockets. Uh. Let's do it. Our strategy was pretty simple. First, we'd code raid their flank tower on the hill and take that over and we'd use it as a raid base. The only thing we had to be careful of was alerting the enemy. Alright, all right, should we be good to go? 3113. Bro, this is crazy. We're using their own base as our raid base. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh. Could have given away our cover. Oh my god, that, oh my they god. keep this shit unloaded. Oh, rockets! Look! Oh, fuck! 
That's a bunch of HP. Is that the ones that we brought? I think so. I think this is our boom. That's ours, bro. After securing the base, all that was left was to raid the ocean bunker. If any of them found out that we had their coats, the raid would be over in an instant. Let's get down that ladder. Oh, fuck. Oh. Be careful. All right, I'm going to unlock it. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Let's see if they're online. Change the code on it. You got it? I don't hear anybody. You hear movement? I don't hear anyone. I'm ready. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, turret's gone, turret's gone. Door. Doors? Doors? Beds? Beds? Okay, ready? We splash, uh, splash this corner. They're online now, too. I, I, I rocketed myself! Kill both. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe not. Hold up. They fired off. You can come, though. Yep. Great. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. You just have to go past. I think all they got is flame rockets. I'm chilling with iron. Yeah, I'm oh, TC! TC, TC! Yeah, 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 yeah. Blow, 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 blow it. Okay, ready? <laughs> I'm blowing it. Let's go. Nice. I think uh, I think we have I think we have main loot. I think we have main loot. They're trying to defend. I think he's just dead. He died with no satchels. One door. And we already got the coats. Bro, he's despawning. Oh, he's oh. despawning. Holy fuck! Holy oh. shit! Throw this! Holy rockets! Bro. Holy fuck! What the fuck are we gonna do? Oh! Cool. What? 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 What do you got? What do you got? There's so much! What? 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 Tell me! There's another box of rockets in like 30 C4! There's no way! There's no way! Oh my! No way. Bro, what are we even doing with all this? Final haul was two boxes of rockets and 30 C4. All from a simple code rating strategy. Once again, big thanks to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to check them out, link in the description below.